Welcome to the review of ISDT PC4860 Safe Parallel Charging Adapter. After introducing two high quality smart chargers to the market, ISDT comes back with a parallel charging product. Without further ado, let's have a look what's inside the box. Looks like ISDT adopted similar philosophy when designing this product. Smart and original design mixed with using high quality materials and great attention to details. In a similar way, the packaging is very minimalistic as you can notice. Inside the box we have the actual adapter, the power lead and the balance lead. Oddly enough, the balance lead is only um, for 6S batteries, whereas the adapter is compatible with the 8S batteries. So there's a little bit of a mismatch here, but I don't think it's going to be a big problem, but if you want to charge 8S batteries, you have to provide your own balance lead. The first thing you notice when picking up this adapter is how well designed, compact and relatively heavy it is. This is because it's all metal construction. There are only XT60 ports on this adapter, which is good and is also compatible with ISDT chargers. So there are four power outputs here, there are two balance ports on the left, there are two balance ports on the right, and the main inputs are on the top here. There's the power input and the balance port as well. Let's have a quick look at the specification of the, um, of the adapter. The max input current is 40 amps, the max output current is 30 amps per port, and max balance current is 2 amps. There's no user manual provided. The only written information available are some warning messages on the side of the box and this little diagram at the back of the product. It shows how to connect balance leads to the adapter. And this is the only information needed to actually start using the product. As mentioned already, it's really straightforward to connect the batteries and the charger to this unit using the little guide at the back of the adapter. Above each port we have a little dot and there's also the first tooth is a bit wider which indicates which way we need to insert the cable. So if you have a look here, above each port there's a dot and the first tooth on each port is a bit wider and this is where you need to insert your cable. Okay, so let's connect the batteries and plug this into the charger. Okay, so we have a dot here, wider tooth, plug it in. The same here, dot and wider tooth. And the charger. The same principle. The dot is here. Okay, seems like we're done here. Huh. So yeah, this is a real beauty. Very well designed, quality is great, everything seems to be perfect. However, this is only what's on the outside. I cannot give an honest opinion about this uh, adapter until I have a look inside and see what the um, ISDT managed to put inside this little beauty. So. Let me just try to open it up and see what's going on there. Luckily, there are no surprises here. 
As the weight has indicated already, we have a lovely CNC carved anodized aluminum case and a quite well designed main board. There is also extra insulation provided. Now we know that ISDT put the word safe in the name of the adapter for a reason and it's not just marketing hype. The main board looks quite well made. There are a number of self-resetting fuses on the board which protect individual cells of connected packs. There are some fuses connected to the power outputs as well and they should provide some overcurrent or over voltage protection. The whole case is anodized which means it's not conductive plus there is additional insulation added for extra safety. So this is how ISDT compares to the cheap uh, balanced charging board from AliExpress. Um, this thing costs about eight dollars this thing costs over 30 but you can immediately notice the difference in quality this is really cheap plastic and even though it's for six batteries it's much lighter than this one it's a quick com quick check so this unit weighs 212 grams and this one 117 but this is obviously because ISDT decided to use all aluminium and metal uh, components on this one. That's, that's where the weight comes from. But this really inspires confidence, whereas this, not so much. I haven't had any issues with this, uh, with this board, but as I said, the quality, it's completely, it's, this, is, this is completely different league. Before concluding the review, Let's quickly compare the safety features of ISDT adapter with the cheap AliExpress one and also Revo Electric's MPA adapter, which seems to be the benchmark in parallel charging safety. As you can see in the picture, the cheap adapter only has one main fuse, which should provide some overcurrent protection here, but there are no additional fuses protecting individual cells. Revo Electric's offers that but also has 12 additional fuses on the top plate that provide reverse polarity and overcurrent protection. So in terms of safety, looks like ISDT sits somewhere in between here. Right, so that's the end of the review and let me tell you what I think. In short, if you don't mind the price and are happy with 4 outputs only, I would buy this product. The main reason for that is that I can't find anything seriously wrong about it. If I was nitpicking, then I would have to mention the price, obviously, but quality comes at price, I guess. Um, being aluminium is quite easy to scratch. You only get 6S balance lead, even though the charge is compatible with 8S batteries. And maybe compared to Revo Electrics, it could offer a little bit more protection. But as I said, this is just nitpicking and there is nothing seriously wrong about the adapter. And there are so many things that are done right. From the moment you pick it up from the box, you just know that you got yourself a quality product. The original design, excellent build and material quality, compact size, metal casing, make this truly unique product and as far as I'm aware, there is nothing comparable on the market at the moment. On top of that, you get some safety features that should offer some protection in case something goes wrong. As you might have noticed, I really like this adapter. I think it's a great little product. If you have any questions, please visit the thread at RC Groups forums. Thank you for watching.